Hi guys, John here, Common Sense Outdoors. Welcome back for part two of our bushcraft table. So we've got more sticks now, cut and set, laid out here. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can hold these sticks on. Of course, the smoke's gonna start blowing over here at me now. So first is the, <coughs> the most likely to be thought of. I'm just gonna start with a piece of bank line. Already got it attached. Land view over here. Okay, I'm just attached. And I'm just gonna take my line and go over the next piece. Pull it back tight towards the first piece. And again you can you could do this. I mean if it was gonna be something that was long, long term. You could put more wraps on it, but for the most part, I'm just going to catch each stick with one wrap. So we've got the little fire going to keep the mosquitoes away and now it's smoking us out. But there are no mosquitoes, so I guess it's working. Just one wrap each stick hang it up on the saw and the other pieces down here every time And I'm <clears throat> trying to keep these pieces somewhat flush so I don't want them digging in my back next to my chair here because I've used the same tree for my chair and my table. You know what? It's time to move those out of my way. I'm tired of them, I'm tired of them getting in the way. with me cord. Looking good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just got to hold them on there. My cordage isn't going to be long enough by any means. So we're going to have to tie it off and start with another piece. I did cut my ends off if you watched the first one these were a lot longer out here I've cut those off and I've left this one and turned it into a bank line dispenser <clears throat> I 
try to join these two pieces together. If I left me enough room here. Yeah, my hands are gonna be in your way. Too much cord now. This is going to be the better way to go if you want to be somewhat long term. If you want to be real long term, you just do some extra wraps around each one of these sticks just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. The other way I'm going to show you here in a minute once we get to the end of this is going to be for more of a short term much faster easier way to go. Also saves on cordage. You don't have to use so much cord to hold all these. Debated on whether I wanted to make this table. As those of you that have been watching my channel know, I had another survival camp set up out here further deeper into the woods that was found by some kids and they kind of tore some stuff up and took some stuff that I had made at the camp. And so we've moved to this new spot down closer to the house hoping that they'll stay away but my debate on whether I wanted to make this table is because it's gonna make it make our new spot here a lot more visible in case they come down this way maybe I can find a nice bush or something to put over it when I'm not here Okay, so we finished off that side with just a simple wraps. 
used quite a bit of cordage to do that. Those, I mean, they're not going to go anywhere right now. But on the back side, I'm going to show you. I think it's going to give a cool look to this table anyway. I'm going to show you another way you can hold those on there without using so much cordage and quite a bit faster. I just have a couple short pieces and I have a stick. I'm just going to put the stick across. I'm going to tie one spot at each, each end. What's so funny? You have a whole bunch of holes in your shirt. Yeah. A little wore out, I guess. I think a little bit more than a little. Go ahead and wrap this a couple times. Now that I've got that end attached, I can just make sure all my ends are where I want them sitting. I'll run my loop around this end. Tighten this in down. So two, I, I didn't even need that much cordage to do that. But two short pieces of cordage and a stick. I've held down the ends on every one of these without having to do all that wrapping. Plus, if you want to do a little bit of each like I've done here, it kind of gives me a backstop to make sure nothing rolls off the back side of my table. So, and if you noticed, I started to show you in, in part one of building this table. I've made this table L-shaped. purpose and I'll show you why here in a second. Now, if I'm sitting here because I put my table on the same tree, I'd have to twist my body to if I wanted to set my cup of coffee on the table. It'd be nothing if I wanted to stack some of my gear up here or whatnot. You set stuff down on the table. But as far as my cup of coffee goes, I've made this little L to the table so I can set it right there without having to twist it all. And this is nice and comfortable. I'm not going to bore you with lashing these on. I'm going to go ahead and do that off video. Finish lashing these right where I want them. And the table will be complete. And maybe we'll show it to you again in a future video. I'm sure we will. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you like the little bushcraft camp table here. Pretty simple idea. It does take a little bit of cordage quite a bit less if you do this method on the back half, back side. Uh, so anyway, hope you like it. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming to you as soon as I can, guys. Thanks for watching.